the luck of the draw, Dennis. It's obviously something that everybody in life is familiar with, that statement, particularly pertinent in horse racing. How does it come about that a field of 40 or 50 or 60 horses that are nominated for an event eventually get allocated their number? All right, we'll, we'll start with the technical aspects first. The SA horse racing system uses a random number generator which generates the draws randomly. This particular random number generator is called a Merzen Twister and it's used in the majority of casinos around the world. Again, on the technical side, we, we had it tested. When we had it tested, we had a company called GLR, Gaming Labs International, come in and take a 8 million sample draws from the system and they sent it to the USA for testing and after that once they were happy that everything was correct they sent us a certificate and report. Once that happened we locked down the software so it could not be changed again. So that's from a technical aspect. The draw procedure when the horses are nominated by the trainers or whoever they get entered into the system at the racing bureau. We do not use names of the horses, we actually use the NHA internal ID number. Every horse, when it is microchipped by Honest Laporte and Professor Guthrie, a number is allocated to that horse. We use those numbers when we refer to horses in the system. So when the Bureau captures them, we capture that horse into the system, keeping all the numbers in, in a table. Once the process in the Bureau is complete where the, the handicap is happy with the weight and things like that. The system is now available for the draw process to happen. One of the staff members in the Racing Bureau will go on the computer system and they'll just press a button called draw. The system will then allocate draws to that field and the way that works is that the system actually will generate a number between one and about four billion. Once it's allocated a number to every horse in that field, it will actually compress that draw down to the maximum number of nominations in that race. From there, what I have to say is once they've done a draw once, the system doesn't allow them to, to redraw. They can't go back, they can't do anything. It's locked down. The only thing they can do from that point onwards is do an insert draw. For example, if there's a horse left out or if there are supplementary nominations, we allow an insert draw. Now, our insert, insert draw, um, again, they will actually um, um, go to the, to the system and press a button and it will automatically do um, a draw for those two horses and then slot them in and move the rest out. It doesn't know anything other than those 20 or 16 horses that it's drawing for this time. It has no memory or anything like it. It never uses a horse name, trainer name or anything of that kind when it looks at the draws. So every time it's a brand new draw. That's really what it comes down to. I don't think it's a luck of the draw. I've been complaining about it for quite a while now and uh, because if you nominate three horses in a race, uh, it's impossible to get like 23, 24, 25 draws. I mean, there should be a spread and there is definitely no spread. Certain stables can draw one, two and three all the time and if you get a bad draw with a horse, I give you a letter, it will always get a bad draw. It does not get a better draw. What interaction do you have with trainers per se who may have a gripe? Basically, first thing, if they have a gripe, we'll go in and we'll analyse their, their draws. We have got a tool that actually analyses it, and we will actually have a, a look at it and see if they have got a gripe. In general, the random number generator seems to be doing a very good job because generally, if you look at a period of a year, it is virtually perfect. Andrew, um, don't get me wrong here. I don't think there's any skullduggery that goes on and I don't think people can manipulate the draw, but I think the system has a fault in some instances. Well, I was surprised when I saw after I nominated and I see where I was drawn. All, all my horses, except one. Okay, I'm not talking about the straight now. The straight is different. But uh, all around the bend, all my horses were drawn on the outside, the whole lot of them. I mean, uh, 13, 14, I mean, uh, um, uh, 19, I think, 22, 23 in a mile. All my horses was drawn on the outside. I don't know how they do it. 
I'll give you a perfect case and example. I have a horse called Grand Opera in my yard at the moment that I'm desperately trying to nominate for some owners. And every single time it runs draws, 32, 33, 36, 34, every time I've, and I've nominated and these poor owners are getting the bills every month and they're seeing that this horse is nominated and nominated and nominated but it's not getting a run. And I just think it's a way the horse's name comes up or the initials where they fall on line and then those horses attract that bad batch. You know, sometimes we do feel like one or two horses always get bad draws and sometimes we feel like one or two horses get good draws. So maybe it's just the luck of the dice. I don't know how it works, but I'm not totally against it. Me personally, I prefer the, the, the ballot system where you have a member of the jockey club sitting with a handicapper and they do the draws by hand and it gets put out on the paper there and then. And if a trainer wants to go and see the draws being done, he's more than welcome to go there and sit and I think they should go back to the old tried and tested way. These computers and these fancy harebrain schemes that they keep developing are not for me. I'm a guy for the old tradition. We've spent a lot of time on the random number generator and we've got the draw analyzer and it'll actually analyze all the draws over, doesn't matter what venue, any period as well. In general, when we analyze something, we analyze it, uh, we don't cut it up into small bits. We analyze every draw for a year and, and come out with a figure and see if it's, if it's fair or not. Most people nominate five horses and some of them get five horses at nice draws, but unfortunately they can only run one or two horses uh, in a meeting. But I'm, I'm, I've got no problem with that draw, really. I'm, I'm, some, I mean, why do these people open up the nominations again? Because their field is not big enough. Yeah. So you understand what I'm saying. So you must be uh, satisfied and just run your horse according to your draw. That's, it, uh, that's how it goes. As I've been sitting here, it's occurred to me that there might be a very positive spin if you'll pardon the pun on this whole thing, because punters around the world, particularly the discerning punters that are prevalent in Hong Kong and Singapore and Japan, are desperate for information. If you could have in the computer form or whatever form guide is available to the general public or, or website where a guy can say, listen, uh, this was Futura, he's run 12 times in his life, this has been his average draw. Is that figure readily available? It is readily available, yes. Is it something that you would consider putting into the book to say a horse has had an average draw of 10, all of a sudden he draws one and he's a horse with pace? People could factor that into the, to the probability of the horse winning. I'm, I'm sure we could do that um, without any problem.